Hey queens, kings, and everyone in between. Uh, welcome back to Gears and Queers, and welcome to the 2021 Ford F-150. We're here with Ford today as part of a two-day event, mainly remote, but we're here by ourselves, which is why we're not wearing masks. We're here to poke around this prototype 2021 F-150 Power Boost model, which is Ford's first mild hybrid system for the pickup. <laughs> So, being Ford's first mild hybrid assist, Ford has paired a 3.5 liter twin turbo EcoBoost V6, which came out in 2011, was updated for 2015, is now paired here with a hybrid system. Um, official power figures and economy figures have not been released, so we're eagerly awaiting that, but Ford promises they'll be best in class. But it's interesting, I think it's an interesting proposition for the Ford model range, but also just as a pickup uh, with the space to fit uh, a pretty, I'm assuming, high power battery pack under the bed paired to an engine like this. It'll be interesting to see in terms of economy and towing and whatnot, but they're promising best in class all around. So we shall see. We got a power up and down lift gate. And on the subject of power, speaking of the power boost model, in bed is a really exciting system called power boost as well, but it's actually an onboard generator system around. So there's a couple different configurations. There's a 2 kilowatt, a 2.3, and a 7.2, or which is this configuration with the PowerBoost hybrid setup. Um, outlets include 120 volt, 240 volt, which is really exciting. But there's a couple different configurations to how it pulls the power. So on this, the hybrid model, there's actually two sort of car 12 volt batteries that it pulls the power from. And I'm pretty sure it's also augmented by the hybrid system, but that's unconfirmed. But on the other models, there's actually a second alternator that kicks in. So the system is mainly operational when the car is stationary, but can be used for certain uh, applications while the car is moving. So when the car is parked, it's a matter of, you can actually activate generator mode from the bed and from the car or from the MyFord app. Um, but it's an interesting system because it will tell you when it's pulling too much power and send you a message and kick in the engine. It'll also tell you when the system is connected to any type of ancillary to remind you to not pull away if anything's plugged in with a long cord, which is pretty helpful. Sort of turning the entire bed into a workstation um, is, this is what Ford has touted a lot about, is this sort of workstation on the actual bed. So we've got embedded rulers, sort of uh, troughs and pockets to hold, screws and whatnot you'll see a lot in press photos is these little sort of indentations which allow you to, you know, uh, fit clamps or anything. It's an interesting proposition. Thank you, Jacob, for passing it off to me here on the interior. So, buzzwords, what are we looking at? We have this fancy new shifter, which at the push of a button, dramatically raises or lowers itself. And the reason it does that is so that you can actually extend this work surface here. You can have a laptop here. You can have, you know, a notepad. This is just a very good productivity solution for the construction professional on the go. So moving over to the instrument cluster, this is Ford's first um, full digital cluster. And there's actually three different variations of this available on the F-150. We have the largest one here. Um, this is gonna be your main, obviously, you know, gauges, but also Ford's new um, trailer backup assist. That's gonna be very well integrated into that. Um, moving over, we've got a very large 12 inch Huge. Um, in infotainment center here. So this is again, the largest one you can get. It's not quite as um, dramatic as the one you can get in the new Ram, which is, you know, portrait oriented. But I think this is, this is very well sized to the truck. Um, this is Sync 4. This is the newest iteration of Ford's um, infotainment suite. And we have, of course, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, everything you would expect and more. Moving down here, we have a wireless charging pad. We have got a little bit of storage in front of it. And then we have your USB-C and type A. So many connectivity options, of course, what you would expect from a new vehicle in 2021. Wow, Chris, great job over there talking about the connectivity, really A plus stuff. Um, Ford has made a really big deal about the new materials in the new F-150 and I don't know, it's kind of a mixed bag. I, I, Again, this is prototype, so a lot of the stuff on the screen isn't uh, operational right now, wireless charging, obviously, um, but it seems like a bit more of the same old, same old here. I like the design. It feels a bit more cohesive than the RAM, I think, like you noticed, or like Chris mentioned, the, the portrait-oriented screen. That just feels like a bit more of a well-thought-out package. 
but it still sort of feels like your typical vinyl. There's still obviously a lot of hard plastic, but I think the design is nice. So we'll see what actually comes to market. Some of the, like the suede is nice, some of the trim is nice, but there are some rough edges here that I'm not sure are, uh, are purposeful or, you know, just uh, a side effect of prototype working, but we shall see, I don't know. Let's hop in the back. Technology, isn't it incredible? We come to you live from the rear seat of the Crew Cab F-150 Platinum. Crew cab. Super Crew Cab F-150 Platinum. The space back here, superb. We have so much room. My knees could have their own knees. It is. I have so much space. The space is seriously impressive. Pickups are just luxury vehicles at this point. Like they're just luxury. Like you could chauffeur someone in this at this point. Absolutely, it's crazy. you absolutely could. You have heated rear seats. We have power points. We've got your USB-C and A, of course. And then we also have a 120 volt outlet. You could have you could have a whole productivity suite up front. You could have something in the back too. We've got a nice armrest and cup holders. And cup holders. Um, really, you know, we've got the materials. While Jacob thinks they might be a little bit questionable, they do continue to the back, which is not something you mm -hmm. often see. Ford is taking the F-150 up market. Uh, we do have this nice stitching. We have suede. We have wood. Um, we have this three dollar, or excuse me, three cent. Um, I think that's from door lock knob from, from 1986, yeah. mm -hmm. perhaps. But really, this is a nice place to be. We have this large panoramic sunroof, which is extends almost to over our heads, uh, you know, sitting here in the back seat. Um, it's not bad. Moving on to the exterior of the new 2021 F-150 prototype. I'd say it's definitely evolutionary. This very much looks like an F-150, and that's obviously very important to a storied nameplate such as this. Uh, we have a completely reshaped headlight situation happening here and a brand new grille design. With this being the platinum, we have the body color and lower trim, you know, front bumpers, rear bumpers, everything moving around. We've got your big, chunky, power folding mirrors, of course, because you are a man of substance in class. And that's why you drive the F-150 Platinum or a woman. Moving along, of course, this is the Super Cruise, so we have the extended cab. And then we have, I'd say like this is a standard mm -hmm. bed size here. So we've got that. Moving on into the back area here, we have this very trick tailgate, which we showed you guys earlier. That's a really big deal. Ford kept the uh, the step with the uh, assist to get up. Let's get that power, power release tailgate. Here's that step in action. Because we get it. It's hard. Your knees ache. You've done a long day of work. Wonderful. And the view up here is a great one. <laughs> Something that is uh, very interesting that Ford has decided to include on this new F-150 is in-bed LED lighting. So no longer are you <laughs> limited to the above bed light. You actually have lights all around the perimeter, or at least at the front. You have lights there. You've got illumination. And we love to see it. All right, Queens, thanks for tagging along for the 2021 F-150 sort of, I guess, pre-show event? Pre An appetizer? Launch. I don't know. Um, but I'm interested to see this out on the road, especially with official power figures, especially the power boost. Um, but yeah, thanks to Ford. I wish we could drive it, but this will suffice for now. See you in the next Until one. Until next one. Bye.